In this video lecture, we're going to discuss uh, the case uh, and the shape of the molecule and the angles of the molecule if there are four electron densities. Uh, now, four electron densities could be lone pairs, there could be bonding pairs of electrons, there could be double bonds or triple bonds, etc. So, so the first case we're going to uh, pick up is the case where, where, where a molecule has four bonding pairs of uh, electrons around an atom. So, an example that I can come up with is a CH, CH4 molecule. Now, CH4 molecule carbon is bonded to four hydrogen atoms and there are no lone pairs, there are just four bonds. So how would a CH4 molecule look like? So the shape is called a tetrahedral shape. The four bonds are going to try and stay as far away from each other as possible because they're repelling each other. So if there's one hydrogen over here, there's going to be another hydrogen over here. There's going to be a bond that would be coming out of the page towards you so this wedge shaped bond is basically coming out of the page and then there's a bond that would be going into the page so this is called a tetrahedral shape four bonds are going to stay as far away from each other as possible so this shape is called a tetrahedral shape and all the angles in this molecule are going to be 109.5 degrees so all the bond, bonding angles between the bonds, they would be 109.5 degrees. So it's a tetrahedral shape. The four bonds are going to stay as far away from each other uh, as possible in a three-dimensional space. Now to better represent this uh, three-dimensional tetrahedral shape, uh, there's a carbon atom in the center, there are four hydrogen atoms sticking to it. So this uh, image I've uh, in front of you, and if you rotate this image, no matter which way, it looks exactly the same. It's, uh, uh, you have to visualize the shape in three dimensions. So no matter which way I rotate this image, it looks pretty much exactly the same. So if I rotate this image, it still looks exactly the same. So from every side, it pretty much looks exactly the same. There's one bond coming out of the page. So it's like a, it's like a pyramid with one bond sticking on top of it so rotating it it still pretty much looks so no matter which side you look at this uh, image from look at the shape from it looks exactly the same and all the angles are exactly 109.5 degrees so if i keep rotating this all the angles are pretty much the same exactly the same it's 109.5 degrees and the shape is tetrahedral so let's do a few more examples of a tetrahedral shape. So H2SO4 is a molecule that also has a tetrahedral shape in which uh, sulfur is making double bonds with uh, two oxygen atoms in H2SO4 and it's making a single bond. So this bond, wedge shaped bond is coming out of the page. So it's making single bonds with uh, two OH groups and there's one bond going into the page so there would be two OH groups attached to it so around this central sulfur atom the shape is going to be tetrahedral one bond sticking out of the other one uh, three forming a small pyramid and there's one bond right on top of the pyramid and remember the double bonds exert more repulsion compared to a single bond so the angles would be slightly different the angles between the two double bonds would be greater and the angles between the between the single bonds would be smaller because of greater repulsion but the but the angles would still be approximately 109.5 degrees and this shape would also be called tetrahedral and all the angles would be 109 point or approximately 109.5 degrees there would be slight slight variation because of the double bonds Let's do another example and let's uh, think of the phosphate ion. Phosphate ion has, it's making a double bond with an oxygen and it's making uh, PO4 3 minus, it's making single bonds with three oxygens which have a minus one charge. So the shape, one wet shit bond coming out of the page and one dotted going into the page and again the shape is approximately it would still be called a tetrahedral shape 
and all the angles would be approximately 109.5 degrees again the angles would not be exactly 109.5 degrees because there's a double bond and the double bond exerts more repulsion which is going to keep the single bonds slightly closer together because the double bonds are repelling the single bonds and the double bond has greater repulsion so the single bonds would have to be closer together to minimize that repulsion so the angles would be slightly different but approximately they would be 109.5 degrees let's do one more example and let's pick uh, ammonium ion which is NH4 and the charge on the ammonium ion is 1 plus so the ammonium ion uh, also has a tetrahedral shape because it's bonded to three uh, it, it's making three normal bonds with three hydrogen atoms so there are three normal bonds with three hydrogen atoms so let's draw a tetrahedral shape one bond is coming out of the page and one dotted bond is going into the page and it's making um, a dated bond on one side so it's still it's still a normal bond well it's still a bonding pair of electrons so there are three uh, normal bonds one dative covalent bond and uh, the shape is going to be tetrahedral and the overall charge on this because one of the hydrogen has a plus one charge so the overall uh, charge on the on the ammonium ion is going to be plus one but the shape is tetrahedral and the angles are 109.5 so it's a it's a tetrahedral shape and the angles are 109.5 degrees now I'm going to try and visualize carbon chains so if I have a molecule like ethane now if you look at this molecule carbon over here and remember the shape is determined by the central carbon atom which is in this case uh, this carbon over here it's not determined by the hydrogens over here so carbon over here is making a total of four bonds now if it's making a total of four bonds then the shape around the carbon atom the geometry around the carbon atom is going to be a tetrahedral shape with all the angles 109.5 degrees Similarly, this other carbon atom is also making four bonds. So if it's making four bonds, the geometry around this carbon atom is going to be tetrahedral as well. And the angles would be 109.5 degrees. So, so I've uh, drawn uh, this ethane molecule, the three-dimensional geometry of this ethane molecule. So the two carbon atoms connected together and the first carbon atom, the shape around the carbon atom would be tetrahedral. So if you look at the, sh at the shape around both carbon atoms, it's tetrahedral. If you look at the shape around this carbon atom there's one bond at top one on the left one coming out of the page one going into the page so all the angles are going to be 109.5 degrees or almost approximately 109.5 degrees and the shape would be tetrahedral similarly if you look at this carbon atom the shape is again tetrahedral it's just uh, upside down so one bond over here one coming out of the page one going into the page and one on the left so so this uh, shape over here is also a tetrahedral shape this is another way to visualize the same molecule of ethane so both carbon atoms are forming a tetrahedral geometry around themselves uh, so and all the angles are 109.5 degrees so whenever carbon is making four bonds which it usually is when it's uh, forming a carbon chain in an organic molecule the shape around the carbon atom is going to be a tetrahedral shape in a similar manner I'm going to try and draw a butane molecule in three dimension a butane has carb four carbon atoms and if you look at the molecule uh, and this is a displayed formula remember the displayed formula tells you the arrangement of the atoms it doesn't tell you the three dimensional geometry of the molecule so although carbon is making four bonds uh, in this molecule but the shape would not be this it's uh, so the so the displayed or uh, structural formula only tells you the arrangement which atom is bonded to which atom it does not tell you the angles or the geometry of the molecule so so here you have uh, this carbon over here as you can see it's making four bonds which means the shape is tetrahedral this carbon over here is also making four bonds so the shape around this carbon atom is also tetrahedral this one is also making a total of four bonds and this one is also making a total of four bonds so i'm going to mark all the carbon atoms that are making a tetrahedral uh, geometry around themselves so these four carbon atoms are all 
going to be arranged in a tetrahedral manner. So I'm going to try and draw the shape of the molecule now. So starting with the first one. So four bonds. So it's going to be a tetrahedral arrangement. So that's four bonds. So this would mean that it's bonded to three hydrogen atoms. And on one side, there's a carbon atom. And if you look at this carbon atom, this carbon atom, the second carbon atom, which is over here. So I've drawn this part right now, four bonds. And on one side, there's a carbon atom. This carbon atom is also tetrahedral. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw that carbon atom in a tetrahedral arrangement. So, so there would be one bond coming out of the page. So let's say that's a hydrogen atom bonded to it. Uh, one bond over here. And remember, I'm drawing a, drawing an inverted tetrahedral shape. And there's going to be one bond over here. And this should be bonded to another carbon atom. And this carbon atom would also be arranged in a tetrahedral manner. So, so let's try and draw that carbon atom. So again, it's uh, it's going to be one bond bonded to another carbon atom over here. One would be bonded to, uh, one bond would be coming out of the page. So that's a hydrogen, one bond would be going into the page. And lastly, I'm left with the last one. So the last one would also be tetrahedral. So that would be one bond over here, one bond coming out of the page and one bond going into the page. So all the angles are going to be 109.5 degrees. And if you look carefully, if you can isolate this carbon atom, the first shape is tetrahedral. The second shape is also a tetrahedral shape. It's just an inverted tetrahedral. This third shape around the carbon atom, the geometry around the carbon atom is also tetrahedral. It's drawn sideways and this last one is also a tetrahedral with two bonds on the plane, one going out of the page and one coming, going into the page. So this is what butane would actually look like and all the angles in the butane molecule are going to be 109.5 degrees. So all these angles, they would be 109.5. So pick any angle and the angle would be 109.5 degrees.